Good afternoon student. Today I am going to teach you one poem from unit 1 uh, that is wind and the leaves. Okay? Uh, the wind and the leaves. Yes, uh, it is very short poem. Okay? My dear student, it is short poem and uh, uh, it is composed it was composed by the famous American writer George Cowper George Cowper and you see uh, he was American poet I already told you in my first class in our course some of the British writer American writer they their text their text are included okay and one of the example is this poem yes and you know that in your exam one poem syntax two syntax are asked okay two syntax are asked as a comprehension as on scene as a scene passes okay scene passes on scene passes both are asked in the exam you have to read out and you have to write question answer vocabularies yeah and so many questions now my dear students uh, this poem is the wind and the leaves george cooper he was very famous he <laughs> translated many poems and he composed many lyrics and songs okay now and these lyrics can be song with the help of music now there is musicality in the poem yes now students uh, just i would uh, before starting this poem i would like to tell you some ideas about the poem how the poem became in english origin okay my dear students poem the word poem p o e m p o e m the word poem in english for the first time derived from the latin word poema p o e m a poema latin word poema all right and what is the meaning of that poema something made something created all right if something created that is called poem yes it is the original idea of the poem poem was generated from the word poema p o e m a yes means something made something created now students all the people cannot be poet all the people cannot compose the poem to compose poem mind heart heart means passion is needed passion feelings it is the outcome of mind and passion feelings you must have the feelings to compose poem yes and you see in poem there are different qualities these are this is, poem is one genre in literature okay in nepali we read different you know genres same likewise in english also uh, poem is one genre story is one genre yeah play is one genre drama is one genre okay play drama they are same okay uh, generally we say but what is here uh, this is poem wind and the lips and i am saying by american uh, by american poet george cooper and you know that poetry is different from other genre okay uh, how the poetry is read it is how it is recited now uh, place you know content is different now so what is here first we have to think that uh, in poem there are different qualities just like there is a image there is a you know alliteration assonance images simile metaphor 
these are the qualities elements of poetry elements of poetry poetry are different yes you can see in nepali jiudai maria bani nau kasko uddam bina bijjakal jasko our famous poet anubhakta he has said these two lines yeah in english woods are lovely dark and deep but i promises to go miles to go before i sleep before i sleep poems okay and in this poem we find two character now let me introduce this poem wind and the leaves okay when is one character leaves is another characters yeah so what they are doing okay before going to the text you must understand some of the words used in the text which are very important okay the word which are very important while reading the text while reciting the poem some words are there until and unless if we uh, don't find the real meaning or meaning of the text or meaning of the words you cannot link the meaning of the poem correctly all right so before reading the text uh, we must know some words just like meadow meadow yes grassland open ground grassland the land full of grass grassland meadow means grassland fluttering the word fluttering means moving lightly and quickly fluttering yes fluttering is moving lightly and quickly wailing wailing means the act of rotting in a circle that is wailing contain means satisfied the word contain means satisfied laid fell down fell down coverlet bed spread covered yes this ground is covered with snow coverlet bed spread so these words they are used in the poem okay and there are similar words these are words and the meanings are here meadow grassland fluttering moving lightly and quickly wailing the act of rotting in a circle contain satisfied laid fell down coverlet bed spread i think you got the meaning okay now the student you turn the page of books and see the line of the poem okay see the lines of the poem okay what do you find the two characters they are talking like a friend okay they are talking like a friend wind and leaves you see i have written some points to understand the poem very easily what are the points look at here wind and leaves are close friend see winds and leaves are close friend in the poem they are playing they are playing together on the ground meadow okay wind calls the leaves to come on the meadow to play yes who call the wind who call the uh, leaves wind call the leaves okay wind blows from here to here and there on the meadow okay wind calls the leaf to play on the ground grassland yes and both are happy they are both are happy you see wind calls leaves to come on the meadow to play to play the intention is playing on the ground happily okay no any problems look at here they are playing happily they are enjoying now see put red and gold dresses wind tells grasses leaves to put to put red and gold dresses red and gold dresses look at here they are talking like a friend they are talking like a human being you see oh my friend leaves please put red and gold dresses and come on the meadow to play see time is winter season now students i would like to remind you uh, 
just uh, you see the pictures before the title of the poem you can see two pictures they are not visible in the class so clearly uh, they are not visible there in the text so clearly but we can understand by reading the text th these pictures reminds a soul's winter season soul's winter seasons okay you can see uh, the ground is covered with the snow and you know they are moving you see we just guess yeah, it is not so visible clearly but we see and time is winter season yeah? all the leaves come in the morning dancing the ground they are coming in the ground for dancing they are coming on the ground for dancing yes all the leaves they are happy and they are coming on the ground dancing yes they dance by singing song they dance by singing song you see they dance by singing song now my dear students they dance both wind and leaves they dance on the ground meadow yes they are very happy you see wind tells leaf to put red and gold dresses red and gold dresses look at here now they want to play there they are very much happy now naturality is there naturality the natural activity you find in the poem yeah and we find images some images some pictures they are in our mind if we read the text we just internalize some of the pictures some pictures are visualized we cannot see directly but the images of this picture just like ground just like leaves yeah just like uh, uh, you know uh, greeneries situation that comes in our mind all right see and both are happy these two characters they are very happy now okay now my dear students these are the main points what are the main points once again i would like to remind you look at me now wind and lips are close friends wind calls lips to come on middle why to play to play put red and gold dresses wind says to leaves put red and gold dresses time is winter season this is winter season they are playing in the winter season very pleasant for them okay now all the leaves come in morning dancing they are dancing the, they are coming on the meadow dancing they are on the meadow they are playing on the meadow grass land they are on the grassland look at you they are on the grassland yes and you see they dance by singing a song they sing a song and they dance my dear students you can just see okay you can just see uh, let me see one word here unhappy okay uh, unhappy some of the words I have written there unhappy okay unhappy stand still somber all right uh, okay if you are asked in the exam write similar word of the following from the text if it is asked questions will be asked from this word you have to see meadow grassland similar word yeah you have to see and when you are asked write the opposite word of the following from the text just like unhappy stand still summer suppose okay unhappy what is the opposite word of unhappy you can find from the text what is the opposite word of stand still what is the opposite word of summer you have to find from the text okay you have to find from the text yeah and after this you can see the question answer okay but before going to the question answer you can see once okay the wind tells the leaves to come on the grassland to play yeah soon as the leaves heard the winds you know loud call dawn come fluttering and all oh then brown brown is written there and they down and flow look at here and you see singing the song they are coming they are completely satisfied they are completely satisfied 
you know they are happy you know to play on the grassland my dear students you got the point yes so george cowper american poet he has shown you know happy atmosphere in the poem happy pleasant atmosphere pleasant no boring yeah some people say winter is boring if you are spending more time in winter some generally people say it is way it is uh, boring yeah uh, no i don't think so this boring we feel boring but it is not boring pleasant for these two characters it is very pleasant now that's why they are playing on the meadow yes they are singing a song and dancing they are singing a song and dancing all right okay now my dear students can you tell me what is the similar word of grassland okay obviously the similar word of grassland is meadow you are right you are right what is the single word of moving lightly and quickly fluttering please tell me fluttering fluttering yeah fluttering moving lightly and quickly fluttering yes fluttering okay wheeling the act of rotate, rotating in a circle rotating in circle yeah circle act of rotating in circle moving in circle we can say moving in circle wheeling wheeling my dear student wind is yeah rotating in circle you see wind blows from high pressure to low pressure yeah and sometimes wind comes in a circle like this moving it seems very pleasant okay now okay now contain what is the similar word of satisfied content content okay satisfied content and fell down late what is the similar word of the bed is spread coverlet the ground is coverlet with snow this meadow meadow the leaves the leaves we can find leaves on the ground meadow and they are covered with snow you have already known this is the winter season you know but they are playing happily they are satisfied the naturality the natural pleasant is shown in the poem this is not the artificial pleasant okay it is said if we want to get real happiness we should go to the nature back to the nature some british poet william wordsworth also focus on naturality yeah nature nature is god nature is god so we should worship the nature now my dear students so what kind of picture we see in the poem natural picture yeah land leaves wind we see in the poem all right okay now uh, after this you know you got this point you have read this similar word opposite word i have given as assignment you complete at your home just you search you turn the page of poem and just go on reading twice or thrice at least two three times you read out the text okay text and underline the difficult words and try to write the answer of this opposite words from the text you are not supposed to write outside from the text okay i am just speaking uh, from the side of examination also okay see uh, because in during the exam when you read the question paper you are supposed to write from the answer from the text which is given there because this poem can be asked as a seen poem for 5 marks how many marks 5 marks okay 5 marks now so we are reading and uh, suppose uh, unhappy is given here and you have to write the opposite meaning of unhappy from the text and you have to write opposite meaning of stand still from the text you have to write opposite meaning of summer from the text okay now my dear students now just i told you vocabulary these are the part of vocabulary 
study of the words and the meaning. Okay. Now, question answer. Many questions can be asked from this point. Okay. If you ask, if you are asked, what is the message of the poem? Then we can say, uh, nature is important, and nature is a part of human life. Yes, nature is a part of human life. These all activities are inside the natures. Okay, we can interpret like this. And now, my dear students, uh, what is the, what, what is the first question? Okay, sometime in exam, who is the poet? Who is the composer? Who is the composer of this poem? Composer. C O M P O S E R. Composer. Who is the composer of this poem? The composer of this poem is George Cowper. Okay. George Cowper. Okay. And who is the poet? You can you, are, you can ask question. Who is the poet? Okay. You can write this answer. Okay. And who are the characters in the poems? You don't find characters just like George, Michael, Tom, Stalin. You don't find these characters. Okay, the characters are lifeless character. No life. Just like wind, leaves. You know they they are also playing like a characters in the poem. Okay. Now who are the characters? The characters in the poem are wind and the leaves. Wind and the leaves. Okay. Now, and the second question here, which season is shown in the poem? Winter season is shown in the poem. Winter season is shown in the poem. Who looks satisfied? You can find the answer. They look satisfied. Both wind and leaves, both are satisfied after playing the games. And they are singing a song. They are singing a song. All right. Okay. Now, and here, what did the wind ask the leaves to do? It is first question in the exercise. Yeah, you can see it is the first question in the exercise. Okay. Let me see. What did the wind ask the leaves to do? Can you tell me answer? Okay. Please tell. What did the wind ask the leaves to do? My dear students, when you write answer, you must focus here. Did is used here. Okay. So, when you write answer, you have to write in past tense because in question past tense is used here. Okay. What did the wind ask the leaves to do? The wind asks the leaves to come on the middle, middle to play. Yes. The wind asks the leaves to come on the middle to play games, to play games, okay? to play we can say, the playing on the middle. Okay. So, likewise, different questions can be generated from this poem. Okay. Now, my dear student, reading poem is different from reading a story. Reading a story is different from reading play okay, or drama. Yeah. These are the genre of English literature. They have different features and they are different from each other. Okay. Now, so generally uh, some people say is that no clear cut meaning in the poem. Poem cannot give clear cut meaning. Yes. How the people perceive, how the people explain it different on the time and situation. Okay? But the masses the poet is going to give here is very clear. Yes? If we want to enjoy the real happiness, we should go to the nature. Yes, focus to the natures. Yes? He's a lyric writer, composer, lyric composer also. I've already told you. This poet, yeah. He is a lyric composer. He translated many poems okay, from other languages. So, uh, 
this in this poem we find some extra features just like rhyme now my dear students uh, let me see some other aspect here rhyme okay there is a rhyme in the poem rhyme create musicality okay just like for example in the second uh, we can say couplet call and all call and all call call all they have similar sound and it creates music flu no okay it creates music call all yes and rhyme is one uh, features of poem uh, in every we can see stanza we find couplet couplet means you know uh, poem having two lines if there are 14 lines we say stanza if 14 lines are there in the poem we say stanza look at here s t a n z a s t a n z a look at here but two lines we find in every part of the poem okay couplet yes and first rhyme is there yeah rhyme create music rhyme produce musicality okay and it is very pleasant it is very pleasant okay okay now my dear students you can point out some of the rhyming word from the text the exercise also given there all right the exercise also given there you have to uh, point out some of the words having similar sound similar sound which creates the music just like call all call all okay now and likewise you can uh, do some exercises which are given in the text okay now my dear students let me see the first part okay just like in english uh, means uh, the word poem was generally uh, for the first time was you know derived from the latin word poema p o e m a which means something made something created okay now and we are reading the wind and the leaves by american poet american poet and uh, i have written some points here yeah. wind and the leaves are close friend wind calls leaves to come on meadow to play put red in gold dresses again time is winter season all the leaves come in morning dancing or on the ground for dancing they dance by singing song and you see some difficult words which are used in the poem are meadow means grassland fluttering moving lightly and quickly wailing wailing act of floating in a circle contain means satisfied laid means fell down coverlet means bed spread okay and i also point out some words which might have asked in the exam okay sometime you can see in the question paper also opposite of unhappy you have to find out from the text stand still sub okay and some important questions question can be asked from different angle but they are related with the text all right so if you got if you summarize all these things you can write you can tell you know about the poem okay so you can memorize the things which is taught here okay when you are sitting alone yes just memorize the point then you can summarize the poem okay if you memorize the point you can summarize the poem okay it is easy idea my dear students okay who looks satisfied who looks satisfied wind and leaves who are the character in the poem wind and leaves both are characters yeah and what did the wind ask the leaves to do the wind ask leaves to come on the meadow to play to play oh my friend leaves please come on the meadow and play we are very close 
this we can develop intimacy this is saying okay now my dear students this is the thing i summarizes here from the poem win and the lips this you read at least two three four times then you start writing the exercise okay i think i think you have got the idea yes no any problems okay yes now and uh, from next class i will teach you next topic all right yes and uh, when you start to write just go through the exercises and see yourself okay if there is any problem you can message me okay i will try to answer okay thank you okay thank you for today goodbye